It was a stormy night, lightning crackling across the sky, casting eerie shadows inside the dimly lit museum room. A quiet and seemingly innocuous figure sat behind the glass display case, a nameplate below reading the Annabelle. She was an innocent-looking raggedy and doll, but she carried a dark, sinister history. The museum where she resided was filled with other cursed and haunted artifacts, each with its own tale of terror. However, Annabelle was notorious, a true enigma, and perhaps the most dangerous. Her story began in the late 1970s when she was gifted to a young nurse named Donna by her mother. Donna and her roommate Angie initially thought of Annabelle as an adorable decoration for their apartment. But soon, they began to notice odd occurrences. Annabelle seemed to move on her own. At first, it was subtle, just a change in the position of her arms or legs. But gradually, her movements became more noticeable. One day, Donna found Annabelle standing upright in the living room. The doll would appear in different rooms altogether, sometimes with notes written in childish handwriting saying help me. Strangely, both Donna and Angie swore they hadn't moved her. Things escalated when Louise, a close friend of Donna, experienced a terrifying encounter. He woke up in the middle of the night, paralyzed and unable to move, with Annabelle slowly crawling up his chest. Her tiny, stitched eye seemed to pierce into his soul. When he finally managed to break free, three deep scratches marred his torso. Donna and Angie, now terrified, sought help. A psychic medium revealed that Annabelle was possessed by the spirit of a deceased young girl named Annabelle Higgins. The spirit claimed she had died on the land where their apartment was built. The medium warned that the spirit was lying. Donna and Angie then contacted Ed and Lorraine Warren, famed paranormal investigators. The Warrens quickly deduced that the doll was not possessed by the spirit of a child. They performed a blessing and an exorcism on the apartment and took Annabelle with them, hoping to contain the evil. But even in their occult museum, strange occurrences persisted. Visitors claimed to feel an oppressive aura around Annabelle's case. Some reported the feeling of being watched, while others swore they saw her eyes move. Particularly alarming were the incidents involving those who mocked or provoked her presence. One such incident involved a young man who tapped on her glass case, jokingly daring her to do her worst. On his way home, he lost control of his motorcycle and crashed, dying instantly. His girlfriend survived, but was hospitalized for over a year. Through careful documentation and multiple investigations, the Warrens ensured Annabelle remained confined. They constructed a special case, blessed by priests, hoping it would be enough to contain the malevolent spirit within. To this day, Annabelle remains locked up, a chilling reminder of the evil that can reside within the most innocent of objects. The glass surrounding her is sturdy, yet those who visit can't help but feel a sense of unease.